Water be enough to get there. Yeah. You got, you got two cooler. Set up the cooler like that. Hey, boss, two bags. Okay. Words don't die on me yet. You got to wait for it. We got our fish from the fish wagon. We've got two catfish, five largemouth bass, very small ones, and a pound of, I think they're called rose minnows. I'm guessing that should be enough. We'll let it sit for about 10 15 minutes and let them go. Well, this is our little fishing pond, or you could call it a fishing hole, that uh, we're going to release these fish in. Um, it's not that large, but it's four and a half, five feet deep at both ends, and about three feet in the middle. I put this old cedar tree in here with uh, lots of branches. That's a safe haven for fish, and maybe even a breeding area. Uh, it certainly has been useful for the frogs. We've seen egg masses, although the pollywogs didn't last long. Okay, it's been at least 15 minutes. The uh, the fish should be acclimated. Time to release them. But first, we'll take a quick quick look at what's in the bag here on the shore. Not a whole lot of fish, but not a whole lot of pond. There's a good picture of the catfish. Is a good view of them. They're the largest fish in here. There. Yep, I see them. He's a good looking guy. Okie doke. You guys ready? Here we go. I'm not just going to spill them in here. I'll let them float out. Swim out on their own. There they go. I have no idea where the catfish went, but look yeah. at all the minnows going. The rose minnows are pretty. <laughs> 